My name's Hilary Eden and I'm a pharmacist with over 20 years experience working for the NHS in the UK. Welcome to Hills Pills. In these videos I aim to provide you with some useful information about medicines that have been prescribed for you by your doctor. In this video I'm going to talk about simvastatin. Simvastatin belongs to the group of drugs called statins and it works by lowering the amount of cholesterol in your body. Too much cholesterol can lead to blockages in your arteries, particularly your coronary arteries, and lead to heart disease and heart attacks. Simvastatin works by reducing the amount of cholesterol your body actually builds itself from fats that you've eaten in your diet. So this means simvastatin isn't a magic tablet that means you can carry on eating as much fat as you want to, and you should always take it in conjunction with exercise and a low-fat, healthy diet. If you, your doctor has detected you've got a high cholesterol level in your blood by doing a blood test, he may prescribe you simvastatin. Also, if you have a condition called homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, this is a condition that runs in families and means that you're likely to have a very high cholesterol in your blood. You may be prescribed simvastatin to treat that. Your doctor may also prescribe simvastatin, even if you haven't got a very high level of cholesterol in your blood, to prevent the risk of you developing heart disease or a heart attack. This is particularly the case if you've got other risk factors, such as diabetes, you smoke, you've got a history of heart disease or you've had a stroke in the past. The dose of simvastatin is 10, 20, 40 or 80 milligrams taken once a day. The 80 milligram dose is a very high dose and that's not usually used. You can take the simvastatin tablets once a day. There is some evidence and some thought that it is most effective if you take the tablets last thing at night. Your body builds most of this cholesterol during the night when you're not eating. So in theory, the tablets work better taken last thing at night. However, if you're taking other medicines in the morning and then your simvastatin at night and you keep forgetting to take the simvastatin, it's probably better to switch it, take it in the morning with all your other tablets rather than keep forgetting it. However, if you're okay at taking a simvastatin tablet late at night, then that probably is the best way to take it. Sometimes if you have the uh, high cholesterol inherited disease I talked about, homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, you may be on a very high dose of simvastatin, up to three times a day. There are four things you need to know if you're taking simvastatin. First of all, it interacts with grapefruit. So you mustn't eat grapefruit or drink grapefruit juice while you're taking simvastatin. It can alter the levels of the drug in your blood. The second thing you need to know is that it interacts with a lot of other medicines. These include antibiotics, antifungals, some antidepressants, some HIV drugs, and actually a whole host of other drugs. It's therefore very important that you let any doctor that's treating you know that you're taking simvastatin, or if you're having medicines dispensed by a pharmacist, make sure they know you're taking simvastatin as well, and then they can check and make sure there are no interactions that are gonna be a problem. The third thing you need to know about simvastatin is that it can cause a condition called myopathy. This is muscle aches, pains and tenderness. It's more common in people over 70 if you've got a history of myopathy or if you've got some liver disease or maybe have been a heavy drinker in the past. If you get myopathy, go and discuss it with your doctor. It doesn't necessarily mean you need to stop taking simvastatin, but you should make your doctor aware of it. Very occasionally, myopathy can turn into a more serious condition called rhabdomyolysis. This is where you get very severe muscle aches and pains, tenderness, and you may also get a high fever and feel very unwell. If that happens, stop taking your simvastatin and go back and talk to your doctor. 
The fourth thing you need to know about simvastatin is that it can interact with other drugs that may be prescribed to also reduce your cholesterol. These are called bile acid sequestrants and they're drugs like cholestyramine and cholestepol. If you're taking any of these, you mustn't take your simvastatin two hours before or up to four hours after the bile acid sequestrant. If you're not sure if you're taking one of these drugs, then go and chat to your doctor or your pharmacist and they'll be able to sort that out for you. If you miss a dose of simvastatin, don't double up, just take the next dose when it's due. And you can drink alcohol with simvastatin in moderation. So the odd glass of wine with a meal isn't going to hurt. But if you're a heavy drinker, this can affect your liver, which in turn can affect your simvastatin levels. So that's not a good thing to be drinking a lot of alcohol with simvastatin. Simvastatin shouldn't make you feel drowsy, so it's quite all right to carry on driving or operating machinery while you're taking simvastatin if you feel safe to do that. I hope this information has been useful. If you need some more detailed information about simvastatin, please read the patient information leaflet that came with the simvastatin when it was dispensed by your pharmacist. If you don't have a copy of that leaflet, you can download another one from www.medicines.org.uk. If you need more information about any other medicines that have been prescribed by your doctor, please see my other videos either on YouTube or you can visit my website www.hillspills.com. Thanks very much.